and gentlemen today we will be removing this car's wheel hub and installing a new bearing now first of all we need to jack up the car the other side is already done it's just this side Now that the wheel is in the end, we will use our wheel scanner to remove the wheel. And remember, stay out under the car. It's dangerous now. Okay. And now, I hope everybody could still see, okay? We just need to fix it. Just so the car is level. Okay, I just want to see where I can sit so I can sit. Okay, so now we take two bolts and we turn them to go in here. Before we do that, we need to remove the brake caliper. So to do that, there are just two bolts here you need to remove. Here's the one bolt. Okay now, 
Before you remove it, get a piece of wire and we tie. Okay, there is another bolt up here. I would suggest. Removing. Wait, that's the wrong one, sorry. Could not suggest removing that bolt. Do you want a little smaller? I think it could be the 13 I had. Where did I put it? brake line and the brake line can break so we don't want it to break now this whole sorry i didn't realize it was so dark so here's the brake caliper like i said this nut i could just take it out of the wise grip it still has a few threads so, so i'll just clamp it on and twist it off okay now we continue to yeah so this thing is already loosey goosey as you could see so the bearing is not broken but we don't talk about why this bearing is like this we don't talk about it. But I won't ever be, be able to fit a ratchet in here. So I'll have to quickly go get some spanners. So all we do now is uh, loosen this four bolt and the whole hub should come out. So I'll be back in a few seconds. The 17. Yes. Now this thing, these need to be pulled up first. So okay, this is how you it's not easy to hook. These panels can be hooked together. So we will just have to. I just have to. Right. Okay, now I can show you. That's how you hook two spanners together. And why hook them together? Give you more leverage. It always acts. So we're just going to loosen all the bolts quickly. Okay? And if you don't know what leverage is, don't worry about it. Just now, if you hook two spanners together like I showed you, I'll show you again like this. You have more power too. And if you eat it a little, it's come loose. Now we can take out all the bolts. I just want to check something with you. About these bolts, I did not know. Oh, yes, I'm just going to put the old bolts in. I mean, not old bolts, the bolts of the brake caliper. I'm just going to turn them in quickly. Yes, like I thought. I thought you could not remove these balls, and I was correct.
this one is coming apart quite easy sometimes you need to use a hammer and two screwdrivers sometimes you can just pull it out it seems it depends So okay, this way, and as you can see, this is our bearing and our and our four. This is our ABS gear. Oh, this is all the old O-ring. Everything seems intact. This is a seal. We could just we're just going to remove this one because we have a new one. You don't worry about that steel wheel. It seems it has. Oh, it, it just has corroded. I'll just take a screwdriver. But guys, we are done outside. So I'm quickly just going to bear to I'm just quickly going to store this tool and then we'll continue inside where we need to do some final adjustments. Okay, as you can see I've already removed this one. So I just use this. What you call this tool, I don't know because I'm not going to say the name I call it. Okay. First hand foremost. We're just going to remove this in the front, so we take two screwdrivers. Just going to wet it. It'll pop just off. This is a spacer. A wee front wheel spacer. This thing is difficult to find. And this is your ABS gear. It looks like this. Now, I don't know. If I'm going to be able to remove this small little box because I think I'm going to grind it off but let's see if I could remove it without breaking it because I have a new one so I don't really care about this one. So I don't really care about this one. Wait, this screwdriver is flat, this is flat. This is more like it.
Okay, after a lot of hammering, a lot of struggle, and a lot of um, using nasty words, we finally got this thing off. It was one hell of a work, so now let's get to the other part. Now you should wear eye protection for this. I don't have eye protection here, but it's no matter. We're just going to grind, let me just show you quickly. We're just going to grind a small, a small groove in here, not to, not to, not to hit the shaft, just to break this bearing loose. So, uh, you can watch me do this. Let me just get a, a piece of cloth to dry off all the dirty dirty. Okay, okay, let's get grinding. Okay, after a lot of grinding, there's a little mark left there, but that can be helped, it's not that deep either. So after a lot of grinding, we grind it, and we break it open, we break it open. It doesn't look break, but it is, it, it, it is cracked there, there is, there it's completely open, but there it's cracked. So now we're done! This we just need to put here, both of the hubs I have, I've marked left and right. So, so they are done. Oh yes, a little blood. It's just a little blood. Don't worry about me. So now we're just going to take this one home, and then we will be we will press them in. I think in a little time. But also love you, beautiful people. When we press them in, bye bye. Meanwhile, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we will be removing this CV Jones front piece, like this one, because we don't have four by four anymore, and we need this piece. So first of all, we will take off all the clamps, so these are all removed, so we will take them off and then we will have to remove this rubber, so just give me a second, okay, and as you can see, now this piece is out, um, we need to remove all the grease first, so let's just put that there. So uh, let's just clean this up quickly. Okay, uh, this is a little bit better. Now, as you could see, there is a circle right there. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to remove it with only my one hand. So give me a second. So as you could see, now the circle is off. We can put it over there. Now comes the most fun part. So give me a second. Okay, so like I've told everybody, I don't have my 4x4 gearbox anymore, and I don't care about these parts, I only want this piece, so now. We need to tighten that more. Okay. It keeps getting me. I personally think this is the time to reflect on the air of our ways and approach this more gently. Who am I kidding? I can't be gentle. We've made, we've made a little progress, a little. I 
I think we need to turn it a little. Okay, here we go. Did you see that spark? So there's our parts, people. Now these O-rings can just go. Just give me a second. I'll show you. Okay, it's difficult to do it right now, but give me a second. As you can see, it's fully assembled again. But now it gets to the nitty gritty part. This is someone in this piece. Okay, before we continue now, we need to clean this one. Because it's graphite gate. Now, um, like I've told you, I'm not going to use this piece ever in my entire life again. So we need to get this out. And to get it out, it's an asshole. But I have a better solution to your problem. If Mr. Gainer can fix it, Nobody can. So we're just going to cut it there and there and like that. But it's difficult to cut with one hand, so give me a few seconds. Okay, everybody, as you could see after a few cuts and bruises over here, we have all our beautiful bearings. I'm definitely going to. to I'm, I'm going to wear these. But as you could see, I will just pull it. Come on. It comes out completely. Now, if anybody is looking for these shops, you can just leave a comment and like, share, and subscribe. And maybe, just maybe, I'll send them to you. They are not usable. They really aren't usable. But maybe if you're lucky, you can get them as a souvenir gift. They're worth nothing, but you can get them. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you beautiful people next time. Bye bye.